Hey everybody, so in this training, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom demo script. Now, the importance of knowing how to be able to do a demo script is, is huge for you as a dealer. Um, it gives you two opportunities here. One, uh, as you're doing a demo, we obviously want those demos to be as smooth as possible. Um, if we're using disks, uh, you know, and maybe you're doing four or five demos, you know, it, you can create these uh, kind of dead lag times uh, while you're shuffling through the discs, trying to find the right scene. If you're using a streamer, uh, you have the same issues as you're bouncing through apps to be able to find the content that you want to. Uh, but in Kaleidoscape, we've built out the system so that you can actually quickly transition from scene to scene to scene across different types of movies, concerts, TV, whatever it is that you want to. In addition to showing your own demo content, uh, imagine you've sell, sold the system to the client You've put some content on there for them. Uh, they bought it, you bought it, however you'd like to do that. Uh, and you can actually create the demo script for them as well. This makes it so, you know, we buy these systems. We love to be able to show them off. They're going to have the confidence of being able to show off a system to their friends uh, with a demo that basically looks as professional as if you or I did it. So, uh, again, that's going to hopefully help to, to make them feel great about their system, uh, as well as hopefully get you some more referrals. So let's go ahead and start. Now, as, as we look at our systems, um, one of the things that we're going to go ahead and take a look at, we'll go ahead and jump into the menu system for Kaleidoscape. We'll go ahead and go into the cover art view. And we'll go ahead and pick a movie like, like Life Cycles here. Uh, now, this is great demo content. Again, maybe not the top of, of what we want to see from a movie perspective, but we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and see these scenes. So if I go down to Play Scene, um, you're going to see the favorite scenes that our custom content team have actually created. So we actually look through uh, all these top movies, and then we actually go through and, and pick out what are those most memorable scenes for people to watch. And that makes it so it's super easy to just go ahead and pull up a scene if you want to. So we're going to go ahead and look at the scene. It's Granddad's Farm. But this is a four-minute scene, uh, which is uh, <laughs> kind of a lot to show for, for one demo here. So, um, you know, we want to be able to maybe thin this down to about 30, 40 seconds um, of some prime UHD content. Um, but I will show you guys how to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and hit OK. The scene will go ahead and start up here. Now, obviously, the way I pulled this in my video capture card, it's not in UHD, but you can see the picture quality is actually still pretty good here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually hit the info button. We're going to slide over to new scene. And you can see on there that it shows set start of new scene. So we're going to go ahead and see how far we can you know, narrow this down a little bit. Uh, in this case, I want to go ahead and be able to start it when the um, old man, they're actually zooming in on him. So we'll go ahead and see, but you can see some, some amazing content in here. You see the oranges and the yellows, uh, which looks amazing without the color banding. So again, if you did have an opportunity where you, time is not a constraint, uh, I would actually recommend showing most of the scene. You can see there's some great uh, you know, video in here, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look here in just a moment. And we'll go ahead and hit the OK button. And you see that heart with the start of the scene. Then we're going to go ahead and go down one. We'll see set the end of the new scene. And again, you guys, we can obviously, we see the clouds in here. We see the bike going across, which is something if you just saw it, you wouldn't be expecting. We see the clouds moving in here. And again, we see the overhead shot of the bikes. We see a grasshopper. And then we'll take a look at these last two bikers coming in. So this first one comes in, the second one comes in, and let's go ahead and set that end scene point. Now, maybe we decided there was something different. We didn't hit it quite at the right spot. Uh, we can obviously change that start or end of scene like you see on here. Uh, if we just change our mind, we can always forget it. But in this case, we're actually pretty happy with it. We're gonna go ahead and save that new scene. We need to give it a name. So we'll call it Go. Hit OK. And again, that's going to be it from there. So now again, if we go back, we'll just go ahead and start through the menu system again. Go back into the cover art. We're going to hit Life Cycles. Go down to Play Scene. 
And now you can see that ghost scene is actually there. So, and it looks like it's about 34 seconds. So that's dead on right where we wanted. Uh, and you can see that heart. That's because obviously if you created it, it's probably going to be a favorite scene. So we go ahead and tag it for you that way. So now we've created this scene. Um, we're going to want to partner with a few other scenes to, to be able to show off maybe some concerts and some other action movies. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the menu button again. We're going to go ahead and move over to the right to the system tab. Uh, and we can go ahead and keep it. You can see the yellow bo uh, box around the status. We'll go ahead and hit that. Now you can see the player IP address uh, is 10.100.6.70. Um, this is going to be similar to what you would do with your network switch or your router, um, where you're going to want to be on the local network. So if you're, again, in your office or maybe you're at the client's home, uh, you would need to be on the local network unless you have a way to be able to um, burrow into it uh, so that it thinks that you're on the local network. So from here, we're going to go ahead and jump into a browser. We'll go ahead and go to 10.100.6.70. You can see I've done this before, forward slash. And in this case, we're going to put scripts, since that's what we're actually going to build here. We're going to hit enter, and that's going to bring us right into the script setting. So we are now on the Kaleidoscape box. Um, you can see that there's already nine scripts in there because this is my demo unit. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So we'll hit create a new script. We're going to type in that name. In this case, we'll say it's breath test script, and then we'll hit OK. So now you can see there's 10 scripts, uh, but we need to create some steps. So let's go ahead and hit Add Step. We're going to go ahead and start with the cover art of a movie. Now, you could actually start with the scene, uh, and it would just play those scenes, uh, and, and that's fine. Um, but, you know, one of the things that we want to be able to do is, is often to be able to set up the scene from a demo perspective. So, you know, again, we want to be able to tell the client what they're going to see and hear. Uh, then we'll show them the clip. And then, again, we're going to confirm what they heard and saw. So we'll go ahead and start with the cover art for the movie. We'll hit Next. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down. And we'll go back into life cycle since we just created that one. We can see the cover art there. Hit next. This is going to play until you hit the player select button. So again, it gives you all the time in the world for you know being able to, to walk through the setup. Maybe the client has a question. If you wanted to auto set it, you could actually hit it's been playing for maybe it's five or 10 seconds and then it'll go directly into the clip. So that's up to you. I like to have a little control over it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it on that cover art until I hit the play button. We're going to hit finish. And that's it for the first step. So we'll go ahead and add another step. Now we're going to actually want to play the scene. Uh, so we're going to hit that first one. So we're going to go down. And there we go. We're going to hit life cycles. Uh, and we can, again, we can see that scene for go. We're going to hit next. This is going to play one time. And then it's going to basically move over to the next one. And if I hit the intermission button, you're going to see that it's going to show the movie cover art. We'll hit finish. Again, we are done with one scene. Let's go ahead and do it again. We'll do the cover art of a movie. Hit next. Uh, let's see here. This time, let's go ahead and do a little Eric Clapton. Uh, concerts are actually something everybody thinks about us for movies, um, but especially right now when people can't get out as much as they have in the past, um, you know, concerts are a great way for people to do uh, to be able to watch through on their Kaleidoscape system. Uh, and so again, people do it a lot. We've got a lot of great uh, concert content, a lot of which again has never been released on disc. So go ahead and add the step, get to the scene. Go back to Eric Clapton, and let's see here. Let's go ahead and play a little Layla. So we'll go ahead and hit Finish, and maybe we'll add one more in here. So let's go ahead and do the cover art. Now, again, something to pay attention to in here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Deep Water Horizon. Again, good the LFE content in there, uh, surround, and some great visuals as well. Now, you can see that we actually have an HDR version and an Ultra HD version, and that's important. We'll talk about why here in a second. So, in order to play HDR content, you need to have HDR all the way through the chain. It's amazing video quality, but again, there are a few more rules around being able to play it. That's true with any player. Um, so, again, what you're going to want to do is maybe create an HDR version. So if you know that you're in your demo system at your office, 
Um, that's not a problem. You can create all HDR content if you want to. Uh, but for a lot of dealers, they'll actually bring their Strato units to the client's home. Uh, and so there you may run the risk that, uh, again, maybe they've got an AVR that's older or a 1080p projector, uh, and it's not going to be able to play that HDR content. So you're going to want to make sure that in that case, um, anytime you buy a movie, you actually get all the lower res versions for free. So in this case, you're just going to, you know, you buy the HDR version, but then go ahead and download the Ultra HD version for just those movies that you want to be able to do for a demo clip. So in this case, we'll go ahead and click on that, hit next, hit finish. And then we're going to add that last step. We're going to be able to play the scene. We're going to go back again. Make sure you're if, if it's a non HDR version that you're hitting ultra HD. Uh, we're going to watch the blowback scene. Hit finish. And that's it, you guys. So you can see in this case, we've got three demos to be able to play, create as many as you want to. That's not a problem. Uh, and it is basically already live. No need to hit save or anything else. So now we're going to go back into the Kaleidoscape system. We'll go ahead and go back into the menu. We're going to go ahead and move back over to the movie section. And in this case, we're going to go over to collections. This is where your favorite scenes show up and any of your scripts. So we'll go ahead and click into there. Uh, we can see I'm already on the script section. Um, and you can see that Brett test script is on there. We're going to hit OK. And again, you can see those steps are on there. And then we have the play script. So we'll go ahead and play script. And you can see, again, life cycle comes up. Uh, so we have the cover art. Now we're going to talk about what we're about to see. Uh, again, you want to be able to pay attention to the, the wheat on the, you know, towards the bottom of the screen, the clouds up at the top, uh, that 3D effect that you get, you know, as, as you look at those, those clouds are just so great. We're going to see the BMX bikes, uh, the clarity, uh, you know, and all of this, this one is all about the visuals. Um, so again, we'll talk about whatever entry you want into that. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the play button. And you can see as this goes and starts up, this is right where we started that scene as it zooms in on the old man. Again, we see the, the wheat coming up. We see the, the clouds in the sky. We see the BMX bike coming into it. Uh, and we'll go ahead and watch this one since it's only about 30 seconds. We see the clouds moving again in, in full you know UHD. You're not going to see any color banding. We see the bikes. We see the first one goes down. We see that grasshopper. And then again, we're going to see bike number one and bike number two, and then it'll basically stop the scene. So as that one goes through, you see it jumps right into Eric Clapton. Uh, so again, we're going to want to talk about concerts, uh, you know, and the ability, no matter kind of what kind of music they like to be able to watch, we're going to be able to see it on here. And then we'll go ahead and hit play. And we see Clapton starting up in there. We see the intro coming into this. Now, again, like I mentioned, uh, maybe there's a question. We can go ahead and hit the pause button. Uh, you can see it pauses. If we hit play, uh, it'll go ahead and resume. If I hit the intermission button, it's going to pop that um, the cover art back on. So again, if there was a question, we're able to answer that. Uh, and then again, I can hit play and it takes us right back into the content. Now, uh, let's say, again, in this case, we don't want to listen to the whole song. We're in a little bit of a time squeeze. Uh, I can just hit the track forward button, and that's going to basically take me to the end of this demo, uh, which will lead me into the next one with Deepwater Horizon. Again, I can set it up, great LFE. You can hear the surrounds, you know, talk about all your favorite pieces and whatever content that you're about to, and then we'll go ahead and hit the play button. And so again, as this starts to, to be able to come in, you know, we, we see it starting up. Um, and again, if I hit track forward and this happens to be at the end of it, you can see there are no more scenes. Uh, I can let it play till the end or I can go ahead and hit stop. Now, one last thing on here, you guys, uh, maybe you've created a, a few different scenes in there. You end up not really using them anymore. If we go back, um, we'll go back into the menu system. If we go back into, in this case, Life Cycles, we'll go ahead and click on the movie. We're going to go all the way down to More Options here. And as we hit More Options, you can see that we can forget a scene. So we're going to go ahead and go down there. We're going to move down, and you'll see that Go scene. We're going to go ahead and click on it. It's going to ask us, do you really want to do that? Yes, we want to forget the scene. 
and it is forgotten. So again, you guys, it's a great way to be able to make sure that your demos for your clients are as smooth as possible. You can see how cool this is. You can jump across genres. You can jump across, you can make an action movie, um, you know, script that just shows all the best action movies. You can do uh, concerts or you can mix and match like I did on here. So uh, again, hopefully that works. And uh, thank you for the time.